Thank you, Chair. During the last few months, the European Union has been confronted with several challenges. As if the economic crisis and the efforts to overcome it were not enough, some member states added another sensitive point to the agenda. Instead of welcoming the switch to democratic regimes in some countries in the northern Africa, and instead of putting more energy and imagination on the assistance of the peoples there, a couple of governments, and what an irony, EU founding countries, afraid that 25,000 persons coming to the EU would affect their stability, considered that the best protection of their own borders would be to close them back. They came with the idea that a new mechanism deeply affecting the Schengen area and the free movement should be allowed. Other governments consider that reinstating border controls is an efficient way to fight organized crime, as if criminals are rules followers. The ALDE group has been very firm and vocal from the very first moment. We do not want and we will not accept any new mechanism that may affect the Schengen acquis, the very spirit of the EU integration. Instead, we are ready and in fact we do work towards a better Schengen governance for a better protection of the EU external borders while fully respecting the human rights of those trying to reach them towards a full implementation of the principle of solidarity among member states. Politicians who believe that the European citizens will like them for this initiative are very wrong. They may get some votes in their own countries in the next elections as politicians, but they will not be forgiven for not acting as great statesmen in the interest of all European citizens, including their own. Only the preservation of Schengen and its acquis is a win-win situation.